What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. So, guys, I, I want to talk about another conversation about colorism. And colorism is a big conversation in the African American community. Especially when you start talking about uh, men and their dating preferences, you're always here. Somebody mentioning colorism. Okay. And a lot of times when we talk about colorism, we're talking about black men and who they deal with. But now when it is, you know, black women dealing with the concept of colorism, that is not talked about. As if the only people who are colorists are black men. But I want to show you how even when black men are exempt from the conversation, colorism is at the helm of conversations amongst black women online. Now, I want to talk about Kiki Palmer. She's a very talented singer and actress. I believe she's been in the business for a long time. She's been, I believe, on Nickelodeon. And, you know, her career has really elevated. Um, But next to her. Um, is another young lady by the name of Zendaya. Now, I didn't really know who she was, but obviously Zendaya in her own right is an up-and-coming um, actress. She's uh, She was actually in Spider-Man as a leading lady, I believe, or close to that. Um, and I saw Spider-Man. I don't remember seeing her, but maybe she was in there. I don't know who these people are. But anyway, she's very popular, okay? And as it appears, she is on a higher level than Kiki Palmer in the entertainment industry. And people believe that the reason has something to do with Zendaya's talent or Zendaya, whatever her name may be. But the fact that Zendaya or Zendaya, however you pronounce her name, she is mixed race. Okay. So she has a higher skin tone. Now, the conversation that was going on about this on social media or online has to do with black women on black Twitter. And really, after... um, you know, she appeared, Kiki Palmer appeared on Jordan Pillar's thriller Nope, which opened the top of the box office with $44 million this weekend. People were saying that, hey, she's on the same level as Zendaya. Now, or I could prop her up to that same level. In other words, saying that she is below the Zendaya lady or Zendaya. I want to talk about this because black men were not in this conversation at all. Okay. Black men were not involved in this conversation. These are women making these claims. Because let me tell you this. Black men could give a damn about Nope. Could give a damn about Kiki Palmer in her acting career. Or Zendaya Zendaya in her acting career. You're not going to see black men just sitting around talking about this. But now... Here's what happened. It irritated Kiki Palmer so much. She felt compelled to say something. Okay. She said this. A great example of colorism is to believe I can be compared to anyone. I'm the youngest talk show host ever. I'm the first black woman to star in her own show on Nickelodeon and the youngest and the first black Cinderella on Broadway. I'm an incomparable talent. Baby, this is Kiki Palmer. Let's pause that. Oh, my God. Look at the insecurity of Kiki Palmer. I mean, she looks and sounds so immature. Okay? So immature. So threatened by this uh, this young lady Zendaya. How more threatened can you be to go on a self-aggrandizing rant? So now you also believe that colorism is the issue. Okay, fine. It's it's interesting to talk about colorism, right? Because these same people who cry about colorism are in the same photos kissing white men, dating white men, defending their right to date white men. Now, and if you have a mulatto baby, what is that? It is colorism, right? It's crazy. It's colorism when it fits you. But now, 
This is you don't even see Zendaya even responding to her because who is Kiki Palmer for her to respond to? Kiki Palmer has the problem. Listen, you just got a great movie. Why would you even respond to her? If you feel that your talent is great, why do that? Because she feels that the Zendaya lady is uh, Zendaya, whoever her name is, is, is better looking than her. She feels threatened by her. That's what it is. That's what it is. Now, here's what we're going to talk about the next week. She says this. I've been a leading lady since I was 11 years old. I have over 100 credits and currently starring in an original screenplay. That's the number one film at the box office. I've had a blessed career thus far. I couldn't ask for more, but God could take his private. But nobody asked you. Nobody asked you. You felt compelled to come out and say this because you were threatened. Now, here's something that I'm going to talk about. Is there, listen to what I'm going to say. Is there colorism? Yes. It is. But now guess what? If you're good, it don't matter. Okay? If you're good, you don't, who don't, you don't, it doesn't matter. Do you see Lupita Luongo talking about all her accomplishments? No. Because she's good at what she does. All right? People are going to stir that up. And the women who are stirring it up are her fans. Like, if you look at their responses, one day y'all are going to stop putting black women at each other. Miss Brundridge. I hate when y'all do this. Like, damn, enjoy Kiki without bringing up Zendaya and vice versa. They are both shining bright right now. Kiki been that girl and everyone loves her. Now let somebody celebrate her without mentioning someone else. These are all black women talking about this. There is no black man talking about this. Colorism is a black female concept also. We're not going to talk about the fact that y'all like light-skinned men. And when y'all have children that are light-skinned that y'all praise those kids to. Y'all don't want black men dating uh, light-skinned women, but you don't mind making them. Okay? Is that right? Hmm? Y'all don't want to talk about that. Is it because Zendaya's father is African-American and her mom is German? I know this colorism is different when the mother is black. Colorism is more acceptable then, right? Like, stop being so fucking insecure. If you're good, you are good. It don't matter if you're black as the keyboard. Shut up. Like, seriously, I'm tired of hearing about it. I'm a, I'm a dark skinned guy. I got called crispy, dark, African booty scratcher. I got called that. I didn't even go to Africa the first time until I was 36 years old. I was called every name in the book. Tar Baby, Crispy, Turned Off VCR, everything. What do I worry about now? I worry about being good. And people not going to like me because I'm black. Fuck them. Don't care. Some of them don't, never going to like me. I could care less. Doesn't matter. I'm here to do what I'm going to do. But some people can have accomplishments and they can still be so insecure. Let the whole world know that we're immature. You're a beautiful young lady, Kiki Palmer. You don't need to tell anybody else that. Get over it. Stop crying. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first clip at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains an all-time high. I'm out. <laughs>